it is January 16th, and that means we are one week away from 365 Pro Wrestling igniting in Kitchener and Guam. Join us January 24th at the Registry Theater in Kitchener and January 25th at the Red Chevron in Guam. Today, my guest is none other than Beef Boy, Elliot Tyler. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm with the one and only Beef Boy, Elliot Tyler. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you? Real good. I'm excited to have you on today. I know a lot of people are going to enjoy hearing uh, some of the stuff we got to say. Perfect. All right. So right away, how, what were some of the highlights of 2019 for you? Uh, quick highlights of 2019. Probably got to include um, on a whim going from not being in ECCW Pack Cup to going all the way to the finals within a three-day span. Fatal four-way ballroom brawl 12. I got to wrestle two of my best friends in the business along with one of my favorite wrestlers in a fatal four-way that opened up the show. And all in all, just, I guess, gaining confidence in myself was a huge highlight in 2019. For sure. And, like, how does it feel? Because at the beginning of 2019, you are like, barely getting on the ECCW shows, if I'm correct. And now you're a featured wrestler, and all the fans are chatting beef at every single show. You're on both nights of Commodore. Your stock has risen tremendously. Yeah, no, it feels like, it feels crazy, because I remember this time last year being a last-minute sub-in for Commodore. I think there was an injury or a pull-out or something. I don't quite remember, but just being a last-minute entry. And now this year, a whole year later, just like hard work, having a catchy nickname that the people liked and everything just, everything clicking at the exact right moment to lead to a whole year later being on both nights and not an afterthought and on almost every show. Pretty, like, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Do you think the office believed in you more when you did sub in and then you had that tremendous pack cup because that was a wild pack cup for you for people who haven't seen it eccw on demand has it and it it was a hell of a cup for you and uh, mr icarus yeah um i feel like that had a lot to do with them kind of feeling they could back me a little more because i was just like you know i wasn't trained by eccw i came in from a different company i was just some chump kid trying to get a spot and Due to an unfortunate injury of another wrestler that they really liked, they had to sub someone in. And, you know, like how the saying goes, you throw them in the deep end to see if they can swim. And I guess that's just kind of what they did. They said, we're going to throw this kid, make him go to the finals, and we're going to see how that goes. And it went, and people liked what they saw, I guess. And, you know, like, yeah. And what a match you guys had. You guys are still having matches because of that match, even at the Commodore. So it's such a big big match you guys had and I, I encourage everyone to check it out now uh several of us vancouver islanders mainly because of vancouver island pro wrestling running so steadily and then for 365 as well you've been here so much you and jordy taylor and we consider you guys islanders does that mean anything to you guys to be to, to be such a part of the family it means the world because when i first came into wrestling the uh the company i broke into i never really felt like fully connected with everyone there like i got along with some people but it was never really like a family atmosphere so when vancouver island pro wrestling and pwa and 365 brought me in it was like they started lots of the wrestlers out there started to call me like one of the islander wrestlers and that that meant the world that was like my first wrestling family and they really took me in helped me grow gave me like first companies to really give me opportunities you know and it it really meant a lot for me early on is there any matches in the IPW that really stick out for you that like help build your confidence a lot? Um, I want to say two of the first matches I had. At the first booking I had, I wrestled Lax Siddhartha in about six minutes, and it was just it was just supposed to be a squash. It was supposed to be a one-time thing, and they liked it enough where they gave me an opportunity. I think about four months later. And night one of that second double shot didn't go too well, but night two was actually my first match with Judas Icarus, and that was, I think, when we realized that we really had a lot of chemistry together because we were we were sent out there and told we had about seven and nine, and we ended up going almost twenty and just having our match, and that's kind of what's become of him and I. Is no matter what time you give us, I think we're just gonna end up having our match. And one of the promoters told me after that first match was like we would be upset with you if it was bad so i guess that was a green light on like if you're gonna not listen to us at least make sure it's good <laughs> and that's kind of what i've held with me with every company i go to is like 
if I've decided in my brain that I'm gonna just go off and do my own thing, I gotta make sure that it's good. If I don't have the confidence in it and it goes bad and I don't listen to them, man, I'm in trouble, you know? That's yeah, not, yeah. that don't look good for no one. Agreed. Now, I know it's winter, so we're not thinking about hiking right now. Maybe you do winter hikes, but I know you enjoy it a lot. I've seen your pictures. You also point the trails out whenever we're on a road and you see one that you've climbed or you might want to climb. Why do you like yeah. hiking so much? What's it do for you? It is, it is just an escape, you know? One, one big thing that not a lot of people really like look for when they go for hikes, a lot of people just go for pictures. And I get that. It's the aesthetic on the Instagram. You want to seem deep. I like it as weird as it sounds. It's just, it's just the freshness. It's the refresh, you know? It's like a reset button. You go out, you're in nature for hours on end. All that's around you is dirt. All that's around you is trees, animals, and like the air you breathe feels different. The conversations you have feel more real. Just everything about it is just like a reset to the soul and sometimes when like you're on the road five to six to seven weekends in a row and when you're not on the road you're at work or you're at home and you just get caught up in this busy busy go 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 world it's just nice to hit that reset and it just kind of feels like you start over it's an escape from the busy real world whenever i have any of my ontario friends come to campbell river here on the island I like to take them to the woods just for that reason because I feel like it is an escape from everything else in the world. It's just, it slows everything down. It's, it's nice to be uh, not busy or rushed, no cell phone like service, just enjoying nature like that. So I, I can understand that. The hiking part, whoo wee, I'm a large man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do, I do understand why you do it and why you love it so much. On the road almost every weekend this year, how many matches did you have? I had 94 matches in 2019. Wow. And then you had around the same in 2018? Uh, a little less. I originally miscounted. I thought I was higher than I was. It's still in the 80s, but uh, not as high as originally thought. I accidentally That's... doubled some matches because I forgot I wrote them down. But still over 170 matches in two years. How is your body feeling? It feels okay. I was lucky that... Uh, Artemis Spencer and Tony Veroni told me that I should really do some yoga. So I've been up on that and up on all just trying to rest when I can, you know? For sure. What are your 2020 goals? Or do you have any 2020 goals in wrestling? Uh, I think it's just to stay consistent. I don't have like a, I want to be at this company or, or any specific like indie dream match. I think I just... I want to get better. I want to build confidence. I want to build a name, uh, build my brand. I think that's the 2020 goal is to just figure out what I'm doing. Perfect. I thank you for doing this. Like I said, uh, we try and get a little bit of everyone so we can have you on again. We're trying to do this every single day for 365 days. So we're sure you're going to be a return guest. But for now, how can people get in touch with you? Where, what are your social media contacts? Uh, everything is either at Elliot Tyler underscore or at Elliot underscore beef. Uh, I don't know which one's which for Instagram and Twitter, but those are the easiest ways to find me. I'm also on Facebook at Elliot Tyler. You could add me as a friend or like my fan page, either or. It doesn't matter to me. All right. Well, thank you so much, man. We really appreciate this. Thank you. A beefy thank you to Beef Boy Elliot Tyler for once again joining us on the 365 Pro Wrestling Podcast. Remember, folks, if you need tickets for January 24th in Kitchener or January 25th in Guelph, all you have to do is check out 365prowrestling.com 